Hello dear researchers, I hope you are doing great. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to analyze Likert scale using charts and graphical representation of the data. So here we are going to uh, just to use Excel. Uh, you can use also SPSS and other uh, programs but uh, Excel is very useful when it comes to data analysis as well especially when it comes to charts because you can edit them so here i have the leopard scale items from strongly agree to or rather strongly disagree to strongly agree uh, and then i have some items i need to transform them into this chart and i want them to be this way in case they are printed they may appear in a nice format all right or a nice shape so here I can just uh, select all the table. So of course I have the, the numbers all already computed like this. So I'm going to select the table and I'm going to click insert and go to recommended charts. So I, I could choose any chart from here or better go to recommended charts. So here is pieces gives us some plenty of options that we can view. As you can see, we have stacked bar chart, we have a clustered bar, we have a clustered column, and we have stacked column, among other types. So here we are going to choose what is uh, the best. So here, what is the best for me, or for this data rather, is the clustered column chart. So it's this one. So I can just click OK and here it is inserted. So I just can increase its uh, dimensions like this and insert the title like of this scale. So the scale consists of many uh, titles or rather sections. Uh, you can also learn about uh, this later in some videos. On how you can divide Likert scale into different sections you can do it manually or using some tests like exploratory analysis factor analysis and principal component analysis so like this is the title mentorship and these are the statements and these are the uh, let's say this is the coding of the colors okay so if I want to edit the the colors I can just uh, double click uh, those columns one of them and go to so this uh, new window is open and then you go to fill and we go to pattern fill and and just cho choose the the pattern that we need to do along with the color and everything okay so once done you can just uh, copy the chart and paste it into the 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 Microsoft Office Word, so I just can copy and paste it there. So then, once you, once pasted, you can start the analysis. So in the pasting option, you can just paste it this way. You have different ways of pasting it, like an image or an editable form. And if you happen to have a mistake here, you can just edit it going back to the Excel file. All right, and even insert numbers here if you want. So this is how we can, uh, let's say, uh, graphically represent Likert scale data. And uh, you can, of course, write the report below this uh, by just uh, going here and start uh, uh, writing like the majority of the respondents so we have this dominant color which is agree or orange you can say the majority of the respondents agree with the first three uh, statements whereas uh, the majority of them are neutral when it comes to the last uh, or the last three questions or statements you see and you can add the frequencies and percentages of each item or each rating of each item all right so this is how you can go about reporting Likert scale data in Microsoft Office. 
Uh, so as I said, if you have questions or remarks or you need assistance with data analysis, you can contact me via one of my social media below. Uh, you can find them in the description box or the comment section. And see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.